In the past several videos, we've looked at the input element, and we've looked at the different types. We've created checkboxes, submit buttons, radio buttons, text boxes, and there are other types, and that's what we're going to cover in this video. Now, there is also a date type and a number type, and we'll cover both of these in this video. Now, as you can see here, I've entered some text, and what we're going to do is create a page where a user can enter the date that they want to travel to Cancun. And so what the date type allows us to do is basically pick a date. It'll give us a box in our browser that will allow the user to do that. And so here's the first input element, and all we do for the type is put in date. And that will give us the box that will allow the user to pick a date. And then we can put whatever we want in here. Let's just put in day. Now remember, this is a value we'll deal with later on in PHP or ASP. So we're not worried about this for now. We're just concerned about this type, which is date. Now, I also put in some text here that will specify the number of days that they want to stay in Cancun. And you guessed it, the input type is number. So we just put the number in here, and that will give us an input field for numbers. And again, this involves the PHP and ASP scripts, but let's just put in num days for number of days. And then we're very concerned with these two next values. This will give us a minimum number and a max number that the user can enter into the number box. So we'll just start out with a minimum number of one, and we'll set a maximum of 10. So our travel agency will only allow them to stay there for 10 days. If, if they want to stay there longer, they're going to have to seek other arrangements. So again, these are two values that, that you can use for the number type. So let's go ahead and save this, and let's refresh our page. And there you can see we have our date box, and we have our number box. So, and you can go ahead in here and now and enter some days. So let's just use this down and up arrow to do that. And we'll first set the month, let's set it to January. We'll set the day to the third, and then you can set whatever year it is you want to set. Now let's check the number box, and you'll notice that we start out with one when we hit the up arrow, and then we go all the way up to 10. We can't go any farther than that. Now this won't prevent us from entering in a number that we want to, even though that's not a number that we allowed in our HTML, we would have to stop this with JavaScript, and we'll talk about that in the JavaScript series. So the minimum and maximum values that we set in the HTML only have to do with the up and down arrow keys in the browser. If you click into the box itself, you can enter whatever number you want. And again, we have to use JavaScript to prevent that if we want to. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video.